Hey all, e Drag here again, and we're going to have a look at SFL Replay. This is from what I campaign as Chaos. And as you can see, well, there's nobody to look at on their side because they haven't come in yet. It's just him and his own, and here they come there. But we we'll look at my army first, and let's go to Swarmo, because it's a bit of a fight. And so, in the front line, Chaos Cultists, two Spear Wall Maces, just to, just to soak up any pressure. Chaos Spawn. I love this unit in SFO. I think it's a great unit. As you can see, weapon strength 237. It's a highly ranked up unit at this point. And we've got case orders. Now if you're wondering as I go through these stats, you might see that they've got quite a big charge bonus. That's because this camp, this horde camp, is dedicated to Sunesh, which is... Well, print, no it's not. Sunesh? I'm beginning to doubt myself now. Yeah, it's Nash. And so we've got that. That's why all the units have a bit of a charge bonus more than you expect. Like the middle guard have seven charge several to 70. But they have they are slower, if memory serves. Or weaker in defence. I can't remember which on the top of my head. Anyway. So, where was it? Yes. Chaos Warders, Forsaken in the middle. Chaos Warriors, Chaos Warriors. Middle guard. And the Chosen of Howards. And the Chosen at the back. Now, as you can see, with Chaos and SFO, and there's only 40 of these units, so it's quite a uh, uh, your model counter, but these are, and there's 80 for these, but they're ridiculously tough. And this mirror guard, 40 of them, but as you can see, them with stats, pretty substantial. And Chosen Halberds, just, they're just monsters of the units, they really are, and so much fun to play with. Also, we can have a look at the, another unit, which you haven't seen before. Hounds of Decay. So these are basically poison hounds. So the 12, um, well, I was going to say model, but let's call them dogs, because they are. Doggles. Strong. Very old mere defence, but they really do hit very hard. And they've got an anti inventory bonus of, let's see, 10. So very good unit. I love this here unit. So how I use these. So I use Hounds of Decay, going first, course you follow by Chaos Warhounds, and then I break these off, yet these do the damage, and any breaking units I chase down with these. And it's such a good method of doing it, it works really well. So as you can see, the first part of the opposition has arrived. I believe another unit is going to, another army is going to appear over here at some point. I believe it's over here. Anyway, let's concentrate on this part for now. So, we're against the sword, we're the Empire, so let's have a quick look at their army. That means the Wolfkin, this is another new unit to SFO. So these are no armour whatsoever. Good melee attack, good, they're good, they've got Frenzy, and they're just a good solid, a bit like Savage Orcs for the Empire, I would say. Maybe not as hard, but they're a good unit. So that's them. And all of that, basic rank and file, so we've got some... Uh, crossbowmen mixed in with some uh, free complete militia. I don't think there's anything better than free complete militia. Nope, there isn't. Some halberders. More swordsmen. You know, great swords, so those have got to be what to keep a careful eye on. And more crossbowmen there. Uh, so not a bad, Ill, not a bad Ill group. So, oh, I, I forgot my own horseman here, which I use as mainly as charging down. I basically use them as dogs. So it's charging down units. I actually did think there was an extra army in this one. Maybe there isn't. I'm even behind here. So, let's get us shown the road. So, I'm pushing forward. That's chaos. We need to push forward. So, let's get my dog, my warhounds on the flanks. Make sure there's nothing sneaky going on. So, I got my water horseman taking a bit of a check. Of check. Ah, I am thinking of a different, a different fight query. So it's just got to concentrate on these. Now there's one thing I don't want to miss. At the start of this fight, as I was coming down the hill, they bunched up beautifully. And I did probably the best timed um, Purple Sun of... What's the, what's the end of it, Purple Sun? I was going to bug me. Right, where, are, where is he? There he is. Purple Sun of Xeros, is it? Yeah, Xeros. Purple Sun of Xeros. Vortex spell. And... I wanted to plant it right in this front line and absolutely break a massive hole in this 
in this front line and it just worked out so well. As you see my chaos spawn and I go stutter means magic's gonna happen and here we go. Let's get a nice little slow down of this. Give it that. And here it comes. Beautiful. Look at the gap this is gonna make. So this is full strength army at the side of this thing. And there's my chaos spawn. Unfortunately they might get hit a bit but meh. They regenerate it is fine. So as you can see, perfectly, perfectly timed for once for me. Let's get pit prey, and that has just wrecked one, two, three units in one hit. Let's see how many deaths that's caused. Where's my source we've gone? There he is. 400 <laughs> in one hit. Uh, if that doesn't bring a smile to their face, you're playing in one game. You really are. Uh, I, I did the half and that happened. And then I actually think, oh wait a second, I actually win this fight. So, horseman, just pep be perfect for peppering these type of units. To skirmish them, I, I do like some water horsemen. And uh, so I dropped down the buffs to apsy caps this front line. So I had punched a hole straight through this now. I got my mirror guard into the back line, which is just a bonus. And now I had some issues. As you can see, some halberders have come round. They had gone quite broad, as if you remember from the start of the fight. So now I had that to worry about. Let's just zoom in slightly. There they are. So they're coming in. So I sent my chosen after it because they were protecting my sorcerer. I had some issues on the right flank, and I'd, I was cumped up a bit too much in the middle after my purple sun. And of course, as is per usual, I have forgot about units, and I forgot about three units of dogs at this point. And at some point, I actually remember. Oh yeah, I've got some more hounds. Where are they? So here, here I'm charging against these this like calf. These high cards, these uh, crossbow wood. These are just you can just treat these as warhounds in a way, but with a nice bit of missile attack as well. There they are. Fine, remember about this unit. Now, if memory serves, I do my tactic. There we go. So I push my warhound straight onto the missile units. Exactly what they need to do. Now, even though the free company mission are actually reasonable in combat, so you shouldn't even in there too long. And as you can see, they can shoot while they're moving, so they just took. Quite a few models off that yeed hound, yeed rank of hounds, and I took these into the back. And the hounds of decay hit hit really hard. It is such a great unit, and my chaos spawn. I absolutely getting it. Oh, is that my forsaken? My forsaken rampaging. This might be where I use my use of forsaken. Meanwhile, in the back, things were going well. I, I, my shows with halberds against. A cavalry unit is just a nightmare. Even for a hero, it's it's not going to go well. There you are. That's how tough these things are. Do ridiculous damage. A great, great unit, but gotta be careful with chaff on that unit. So now, there's all the question of a bit of tidy up. So I saw my dogs going around. I left them in that battle because they were winning, and they finally broke that. And then the idea is to. You run it with it and then break and then run on to the next unit. I broke the main bulk of the army here, eventually, mainly because my chaos spawn were here, racking up 132 kills. And I, now all I do is push these off the map. That was the plan. So, how's it decay? Pushing them off. Perfect for doing that type of thing. More rewarded horseman charge. I recommend having a couple of units of warders, and especially in the early armies. They're just such a, a happy. I almost said happy unit there. Such a helpful unit. You can either poke them with their... Uh, with their uh, pay, is it? I'm not sure what. I think it's just javelins here. It's javelins. Or they can just charge it. Charge them in. They got, much, they got a good charge with 61 bonus because of this... Because like I said at the start, um, the, I've dedicated this horde to that... to Sinesh. I'm sure it's Sinesh. So give me my all my units nice charge bonuses. And... They are slowly starting to break, and I think it's only a matter of time before they break completely. There we go. And that was a nice, easy win. Mainly because that purple son of Zeus, or Zas, or whatever you say it, was perfectly timed. And let's see how many got. 405. So only got 5 more after that initial kill. Ridiculous. So I've taken back to the kills. Care spawn. Doggos. Did it right. Water horseman. They just a great all round unit. I do like that unit a lot. Chaos, these are just chaff. 
don't really care about them really, to be really honest. Chosen are just solid, hardly take any damage at all, and they just kill everything in the way. And that is the end of that video. So, thanks for watching it. Hope you enjoyed my purple sun, and I'll see you in the next video.